from the directors of The Matrix, and nothing else worth mentioning, comes the last time anyone will give the Wachowskis money. Easiest money we ever made. Cha-ching! Jupiter Ascending. Look out, Scientology. There's a new ridiculous space opera in town, and it makes even less sense than Battlefield Earth. So full of such terrible performances. You begged me to do it! Stupid dialogue. My mother wrote her future self into her will. And ridiculous characters that it's actually kind of hilarious. I create life! And I destroy it. Audiences claim they're hungry for original films that aren't sequels, adaptations, or remakes. Just not like this. As the Wachowskis roll out their signature blend of CGI bullshit, lazy philosophy. But how could I be a reincarnation of your mother unless your mother was from Earth? And a story about the human race being harvested as a life force for a more advanced civilization. Yep, that again. If you've been waiting for a female sci-fi lead character on par with Ripley or Sarah Connor, get ready to keep waiting. As Mila Kunis spends the entire movie getting saved, cleaning toilets, getting saved again, desperately trying to bone her savior, getting saved again, playing dress up, cleaning more toilets, and looking bored. If there's anything we can do to make the journey easier, you let us know. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling a little overdressed, so if you maybe have something that I could change into. You just found out aliens exist. Wake up! But she's not alone. Ride passively along with Academy Award winner Eddie Redmayne, who makes a strong case for the Academy to retroactively take back his Academy Award. I will harvest that planet tomorrow before I let her take it from me. And Channing Tatum, the hottest guy in the world, who does his best to hide under a bunch of eyeliner, a ginger chin strap, and space roller skates. They use the force of gravity, redirecting it into differential equation slopes that you can serve. Yeah. So settle in for a plot so ridiculous, we're just gonna tell you what happens. This is actually the story. Meet Jupiter, the child of an astronomer who's murdered while trying to defend his household telescope. Jupiter's world will change when on the way to donate her eggs for money to buy a telescope of her own, intergalactic bounty hunters attack her on behalf of the Abrasic siblings, an ancient family of business moguls who killed the dinosaurs. Your people kill the dinosaurs. <laughs> they seed planets with human beings, then kill and harvest them to create Regenex, a serum of eternal life. Jupiter, it turns out, is an exact genetic copy of the Abrasic's dead mother, Seraphi, which makes her the rightful owner of the entire planet Earth and a pawn in the Abrasic sibling rivalry. The first person to reach Jupiter, however, is Kane Wise, a half-albino man-wolf hybrid who's also a hoverboot expert. Jupiter, who can control bees due to their ability to recognize royalty, finds herself falling for her protector Kane. But since a disgraced man-wolf splice is no suitable match for reincarnation of Abrasic's royalty, they can't be together. I have more in common with a dog than I have with you. I love dogs. I've always loved dogs. Jupiter is tricked into accepting a marriage proposal from Titus Abrasex, who claims he will keep the universe safe. Kane and his old comrade Stinger, a fellow ex-space cop who is also part B, rescue Jupiter just before the ceremony is complete, saving her from marrying a man who's not just thousands of years older than her, but is also technically her son and plans to murder her. And that's just the beginning of Jupiter's problems, as back on Earth, her mom, boss, and co-workers are captured by Belem Abrasic's dinosaur henchman, Mr. Gregan. Shortly thereafter, Kane and Stinger must launch another nearly identical rescue mission, saving the person Jupiter on the planet Jupiter destroying the Regenix factory and killing Belem. Safely back in Chicago, Kane, who has angel wings now by the way, is free to hover skate with the new queen of the earth, who after all is said and done, uses her knowledge of the universe and royal power to clean toilets again, completely ignoring the other two Abrasic siblings who are still very much running a planetary holocaust business. The end. And that's really just the basics. Are you sure these are the same guys who made The Matrix? Starring Cinderella in space. Sean B. Brian Boitano. Larry and Lana Wachowski. Koopas. Max Rebo. A. Lamau. And Eddie. Redmayne! Wachowski's Descending. Wait, Sean Bean dies in every good movie, but survives this one? Oh, man, they couldn't even kill Sean Bean right. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers.
for you, the day bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. You embarrassed me in front of her. You gotta eat the booty like groceries. Scene does not contain a lap dance. Oh, what a day, what a lovely day. I record these things when I'm on the toilet.